Well, we've got more breaking news coming in. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has tweeted out on the Mamta meme controversy and directly calls Mamta a dictator. Arun Jaitley, in fact, tweeted the tweet on your screens there, and I'm quoting here, humor, wit, sarcasm survive in a free society. They have no place in autocracies. Dictators laugh at people. They don't like people laughing at them. Bengal today is a case in point, unquote. It's very clear. Uh, in fact, uh, Minakshi joining us on the phone line. Uh, Minakshi, uh, a very telling tweet there coming in from Arun Jaitley. I just want to reference uh, by the uh, uh, finance minister and the developments that have transpired in the Supreme Court. And of course, we know the issue of uh, the Supreme Court issuing notices to the West Bengal government to examine the larger question if uh, uh, those indulging in political satire uh, can be prosecuted is a subject matter which will play out in the foreseeable future. And of course, we've seen the developments from today where the Supreme Court has gone on to state uh, that what constitutes uh, free speech and what does not constitute free speech, asking uh, Priyanka Sharma to attend an apology. And of course, the uh, finance minister, Arun Jaitley, who's a very eminent jurist in his individual capacity, understanding uh, the nuances of uh, what has transpired in the Supreme Court, and categorically, again, uh, making this an issue uh, we where we have seen uh, oftentimes in the past that the central government and the West Bengal government in particular do not share a very comfortable relationship. And clearly, this is another flashpoint uh, which brings the difficult relationship to the fore. All right. Uh, thanks, Manakshi, for taking us through all of that.